of this video is to show you how to thread the, the Janome 509 Sewist. The first thing that you do is you're going to be removing the spool cover, the spool holder. This is the little guy that holds the spool into place. Here's my spool of thread and you want to make sure that the round center goes on the spindle. That allows the thread to evenly uh, unwind from the spool. Put the spool holder back in place. This is real important. If that's not on there, you're not going to be sewing. So super important. The other thing I want to remind you guys is when you take the spool holder off, you never take it out of your hand. You keep it in your hand. So it comes off, stays in your hand, put the spool of thread on, and you put it right back on. That spool holder never, ever is set on our table. It's either in our hand or it's on the spindle. That's the only two places for the spool holder. Okay, now we're going to remove some of the thread. And I like to wind the thread around my left finger and my right finger. And now I have it nice and taut. And notice this thread guide. It's got a little arrow. And it's just telling me that I need to pull the thread towards myself. Pull it towards you. And listen. Right there, there was a little click. So now we know that the thread guide is in, and the threads, the guide puts the thread in the right, the right, the exact right place for us. Let's now check out the numbers on the machine. If you can count to four, you can thread the machine. Number one has an arrow pointing towards yourself, and it's guiding you down here to two. Two has a U-turn, so it's telling you to come up to three. There's another U-turn at three. You're going to come around the thread take-up leather, or the Loch Ness Monster, and you're going to come down into the left channel to four. So those are the numbers I want you to pay close attention to. Let's go back up and this time do it with thread. So you take your thread and you're going down in the right hand channel. You're coming back up on the U-turn, U-turn, and you're coming around on the U-turn here for three. But when you get here, you need to stop. Take a look. Right here, the Loch Ness Monster, it ha his head has an eye in it. And that thread needs to get into that eye. Now you don't have to thread it like you would a hand sewing machine needle or anything like that. All you need to do is when you get to this point, pick it up. Pick up the thread and pull it towards you. When you pick up the thread and pull it towards you, it slips right into the eye of the Loch Ness Monster and you're set. Please make sure that you get the thread through that eye. If you don't take that step and pick the thread up and bring it towards you, it won't go in there and, and the machine will not sew correctly. You'll have nothing but trouble. Okay, we now, now need, we'll, we now will proceed to four. Four brings us to here, but we're not done. There's this little hook, and if you see it, you can see it from the back. It's got a little hook there. We need to get the thread behind the hook, so let's get that thread behind the hook. And what that does is it's going to guide the thread. It's going to guide that thread to the front of the machine. Super important that we get the thread behind the hook. What that does, it takes some of the tension off the thread and it allows it to flow freely. We're now ready to put the thread through the eye of the needle. So just like with a hand sewing needle, we thread it the same way. We want to make sure we have a nice, blunt, clean uh, end to the thread. It helps sometimes to put a little saliva on the thread. And then I like to get a real short tail and capture it or trap it between my two index fingers. And then watch where the eye is and just drive it straight back. Now when I do this, I want to show you something. I'm going to pull away my left finger and I'm going to keep my right one there. That needle is threaded. But if I'm not careful, when I move out my right hand, my fingers can sometimes unthread it. So the, the nice trick here is put your left hand back in there, grab the thread with the left hand, the pointer and your thumb, and then gently remove your right pointer and now you can pull that thread taut. And that's how you thread the top of the machine. Okay, we're not really done yet though. We've threaded the top of the machine, but now we need to thread the bobbin. To do that, notice here, there's these this little black, it's a black button. It's a, called the hook cover release button. And it's got a little arrow pointing here to the right. So if I just slide this arrow to the right, watch what happens. Yeah, it releases this hook cover plate. The hook cover plate is super important. We cannot sew without it. So we're just gonna set it up here to the side. Okay, we don't want to put it on the tabletop. We don't want to put it any place but on the on the top of this machine. Now we have a, a bobbin. The bobbins look like this. And I want to make sure that the thread comes out over the top, not under the bottom. 
so I don't want the thread coming off from the underside of the bobbin. I want it coming off over the top. And if I were to pull the thread straight towards myself, notice this. What letter does that form? Can you tell? What letter would that be? What's it look like to you? It should look like the letter P. The letter P for perfect threading. So when you form the letter P, you can then drop it into the bobbin case. And there's a few other things I want you to pay close attention to. Right here is an opening. And if you would, pretend that this is a, a clock. And it, the bottom of the clock is number six. So we want to guide the thread through the opening at six o'clock. Now, right here you'll see that there's an arrow pointing to the left. So the thread is going to, we're going to take our left hand. And you can gently put your, your right pointer on this just to keep it from spinning too fast. Just kind of gently put your pressure here. And then you, you take your left hand and slide it to the left like the arrow indicates. And it's going to make a little, right there, listen. It just kind of pulls. And, and notice how the, the bobbin is starting to spin. It's spinning counterclockwise. So as I pull that, it spins counterclockwise counterclockwise and now I'm just gonna let it go all right but I'm not really done quite yet there's something else I have to do I've got a fish and what fishing means is I need to get the top thread the green thread to hook over the pink bobbin thread and get that thread to come up underneath the plate and come out this opening here so to do that you're gonna hang you're gonna put your pointer in your finger of your left hand hold tight on the top thread Put your hand on the hand wheel and you're going to turn the hand wheel one complete revolution towards yourself. So when you turn the hand wheel, we know the Loch Ness Monster's head, it's going to go down inside the machine and then it's going to come back up. We're not done until we do a complete revolution. So his head's got to go all the way down and that's got to come all the way back up. So here we go. Turning the hand wheel towards yourself, the needle's going down into the machine. It's taking the thread with it and watch what happens you're going to start to see something on top of the bobbin. There it is. The thread just now, the green thread is starting to catch the pink thread or the bobbin thread. So right now it's about mm, a third of the way across the face of the bobbin. As I continue to turn the hand wheel, there it goes. Look at it. It's going. It's going. It's almost off the face of the bobbin. And there it popped off. But is my Loch Ness Monster here at the top yet? No. So I have to keep turning it toward me until his head comes all the way up. Now there goes the green thread. It's disappearing. And now his head is all the way up. It's, 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 it can't get any higher than that. And now I want to just tug on this green thread. And when I tug on the green thread, look what happens. The pink thread pops open. It popped up. So it was underneath. And now it's, it came through this hole here. And that's where the needle comes. So it's through there. And now it's popped up to the top. And all I have to do is take my finger and release that. And if I want to tidy things up, I can take both threads together and put them underneath the toe of the presser foot. Pull them this way and we're set. Now the bobbin is threaded. Last thing I need to do is I need to take the hinges on the hook cover plate, put them in here where they belong to the left, and then just gently close it with a light little pressure with your finger. Listen. And it clicks shut. You're now ready to sew.